okay? Hello, Arthur. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? You know, you ought to stuff some cow chips in that foul mouth of yours. You joining us here, Arthur? Hey, y'all. Hi there, Arthur. Reverend? Well, I suppose I should move a bit. Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? <laughs> How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. Nothing that serious fella like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'd be getting rich, not killed. <laughs> Besides, Arthur... I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little fella. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Hmm? Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What are we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. Hey, it's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. There, girl. Okay, girl. Hardy, follow me. the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you have to tag along with this just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can play, believe me. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. First time we laid eyes on her. She was being chased by three real angry looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I've brought you both in on. All right. Just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. We want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. The road down there, Mary Beth. She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay. You're the boss. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. 
Well, all right, then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then we move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? This is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can That'll make an exception. Shut up. I thought you... They seem threatened to me! Think they was just going to give it up? Anyway, we can talk about this later. I'm going to bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. That's a nice take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Told you. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go. We don't have time to hang around. All right. All right. I'll see you boys later. Slow it up. Okay, then.
bad, huh, girl? Come on, girl. Partner, you interested in a little friendly competition? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Poor shit. Yeah? Guess that explains it. I'm brand new. It's hard lines, partner. Here's an idea. What do you say we raise the stakes? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Oh, trying to cheat your corners, huh? Oh, you got a damn good shot, mister. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess I just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. <laughs> Good girl.
apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Good job, Mr. Morgan. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Would well, you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's gonna be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case... Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's mount up. Okay. Follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. That kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreign boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so do this right. Let's cut up through the creek. spot we first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? But just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, 
come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man, what does that even mean? Do you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me! What's the plan? There's been a change of plan! Yes! You act dumb and get them to stop. Stand back. Chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watched. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. <laughs> Easy now. Yeah. 
Sorry. Okay then. Well, what are you up hey, to? Hey, better not have a problem with his friend. Hey, get yourself out of there. Well, what have we got here? I think Let's you should see mind about your own. This. Caught in the act, you little shit. See you later. <laughs> it's all right, girl. <laughs> Easy now. Hold up now. Easy there. Now, shh. This your mess? <laughs> Look, nothing to do with me. Better let someone. My girl. Easy, easy. Yep. Hello. Is this your doing? Hey, it's not what it looks like. Guess I have no choice but to report. This. Yeah.
choke? Whoa. You trying to pawn crap off on us? I've had enough of this. Both of you get your hands up. Now! Whoa, whoa. Not a word about this. Or we'll find you and take that tongue. Okay. My mistake. You did real time. good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. I was 11. The first time I shot a man. His fault. But then <laughs> we all think that all the time. I thought God himself would come down and take vengeance on me for what I'd done, but that ain't happened yet. Sometimes I wish it would. Well, I guess we'll be all right. We got Dutch. If there's anyone I reckon could convince good old St. Peter he got it wrong, it's Dutch. <laughs> oh, we weren't that bad. Come on, let us in. Let us in. Let us in so we can rob you blind just like every other unfortunate along the way. Decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How are you?
Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take it. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting home for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Oh, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, 
Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Cowpoke, you're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Got a sense. Yeah. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum <laughs> right, we can draw them all back. True. Where? He's escaping. Shoot him. 
Finally! Put his weapons over there! Dutch preach true. Let me go, Cole, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, and hand you in, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, I missed you. I don't want it, but 
to Mexico. I want to go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too.